Today I'll be showing some of the things that uh, didn't get featured in the first video, such as an analog, analog multimeter, and also I'll be showing in more detail some of uh, the stuff that did get featured in the first video that I found very interesting. So let's get right into it. This is an old analog multimeter made by ICE in Italy. It's the Super Tester 680R. And uh, it's still in the box, however it has been used, it's not brand new in box, however it's still in very good condition, as you can see the manual is contained inside, and the manual talks about how to use the multimeter with uh, illustrations, it also talks about how to repair the multimeter. Interestingly enough, the manual talks about uh, testing the transistors with this, so that's pretty interesting. And on the rear, there's the schematic, and a bigger schematic, which folds out. So that's pretty cool, you don't see this anymore. So here is the meter itself, as you can see it's uh, in this protective casing, all these various holes are uh, for the test leads, so speaking of those, they are contained over here, these are test leads, there is also a special test lead for high voltage applications, and the thinnest power cord I've ever seen. However, interestingly enough, it does actually have protective uh, plastic coverings on the pins, so that's uh, pretty nice. If we take uh, everything out of here, it, the meter actually pushes out of this covering, and uh, there are screws on the back, which uh, Let's you open it, and I've already done so, and uh, here's the battery that it uses. Not really super common these days, but uh, um, I might be able to replace it with two C-cells. And so this is the ICE Super Tester. Now let's take a more detailed look at some of the items I already showed in the last video that I found interesting. Anyways, this is what I grabbed, uh, by the way. I put the rest of the stuff in storage and... Uh, I'm gonna briefly cover some of these things very quickly because they intrigued me. This is a simple S video, the type you find on laptops and on video cards for on computers, to composite adapter. And I actually needed one, and uh, I now I have many of them. So that's kind of cool. This is that MP3 player. I talked about and uh, just wanted to point out that it's called the Lunatic 3000 and uh, I presume that makes it sound better but yeah that's cool Not, I might cover this in a video someday because it's just very interesting but I also kind of want to open it so I don't know we'll see I already covered the super tester but you know here it is again just such a cool thing. Oh yeah, this is that barcode scanner thing. Let's open it. And here's our scanner, which apparently is has already yellowed over the years, and this is just so special. And oh, oh yeah, oh, it uses PS2. This, oh, this is so cool, it has a manual, it has a manual on programming, uh, there's another piece of uh, legislation, okay, that's cool, I think this was already opened once because it wasn't in the box, but this is just so cool, let's see. It can work on an Apple computer? Really? You sure? 
okay this is a generic box you see it talks about USB this is unless it's compatible with a USB using an adapter but and I, I can't see this working on all of these just no anyways let's move on to the speakers I already showed them briefly but I haven't actually tested them and this is to confirm that yeah these have no power input, they're just passive speakers. So, they still have their twist tie on them. Now they don't. So, I. Okay, I know I could test them with this, but. I. Uh, look, if I ever unbox this on video, I'm gonna use these speakers, if I remember to, because it is just amazing crappy mp3 player crappy speakers why not but for now let's use something else anyways for now i'll just use my laptop because that way i can use music from the youtube audio library so let's see how bad these things really are Awful. For context. Let's test the laptop speakers. Yeah. Laptops back there. But these things have charm. In a cheap, plasticky kind of way, they have charm. And finally, I have four of these things now, so let's open one of them, why not? Unsealed. Oh yeah, and it's really happy to say that it's SATA. And yeah, SATA. There's a fan, SATA connector, Molex power, and this is where your hard drive would go. Oh, this is very interesting actually. It uses one of these connectors, which I've seen used on various kinds of these uh, hard drive trays. Okay, bit stubborn. Oh, you serious? It uses SATA. Yeah, no. I mean, to be fair. It's important to know because these things were sold with IDE and the same type of connector and uh, yeah that could go badly. And the side of it there's a manual I think. Uh, not sure how it's opened actually. It tells you right here. That's easy. Comes with cable, screws, keys, manual. And there's a fan on the front, and you just plug your hard drive into here, screw it in, and then put the whole bay into this thing. Lock it. That's cool. Anyways, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.